Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to lead off with a question that Scott brought up, which is uh, about when you're practicing, varying the size of the movements, because that develops different qualities in your in your kung fu whenever you when you do that so when you're practicing whatever it is you um, you want to explore the different expressions you can kind of get locked into a particular way of doing things and might even think it's the right way and and so whenever someone else something else presents itself which requires a bigger or a smaller form it can look um off-putting uh so the uh, the reason for it is that you um you want to develop a, a practice where you can have movements are which are kind of in your comfort zone so that you are exploring something you're getting a form that is something which is well within your reach doesn't require a lot of expansion so then you can learn to relax into that it doesn't require a lot of physical effort in order to make you know to make make it happen and that way you get to to really tune into what's being done and to avoid the extraneous muscular contraction the, the tension that that can accompany that can accompany doing something where you don't know what you're doing and so you start off with you something which is sort of a medium range and then a you can then expand the motions so that you are actually reaching out and getting something much bigger and feeling the energy that is that accompanies that expansion. So the bigger you are, the more you got more energy it requires to sustain that shape, that that structure. And particularly if it's, you know, like a, a big form or something where there, there's requires postures which are are big and maybe deep and, and low. So then you're now you've taken it. Once you've gotten your gotten acclimated to relaxing into that then you learn to relax into something which it requires a lot more energy to sustain and when that happens then you start to build up a reservoir within your body mind that welcomes that expansion it says oh yeah i can do that so i'm not required to just do these very small things that i can actually push the envelope a little bit I can stress the system a little bit because in that stress, I can then find the song. I can find the, the letting go. So the, then you are learning how to handle that big energy and be able to move around in that. And then the third step is making it really really small so that you're taking that big energy and putting it into a very small container when that happens then you're able to create effects with very uh with seemingly no effort because you're taking that energy and you're able to express it in a very small motion so the um, getting that um, that comparison, be able to to do that. So then you're able to shift gears and find out what's the appropriate structure, what's the appropriate energy for a given situation. You're not limited to any one particular way of doing it, and you then can also you know learn to be able to identify with the energetic part of the structure more so than the physical so then 
you're able to to um, summon that energy and express it through the body in, in a way which is uh, surprising and disproportional to the uh, to the amount of effort that's being uh, that is apparently being exerted. So the uh, give you an idea about about that last part there. So the learning how to to feel into the 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 structure you get you get a a memory of a felt sense of of what it takes the energy that goes into doing something say at a very physical level and then you take that away and then you just summon the energy itself so let's say um, uh, you grab your uh your wrist with your hand right say like that and you're going to reach out with your hand like that right you, you reach out with your with your with your arm and pull back uh with the other with your with your other arm so and it's sort of like an isometric kind of deal but we're just doing it not as a uh, a muscle building thing but just as a way of exploring putting a lot of energy so you just keep cranking up the energy more 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 so that you're feeling feeling that that you're the more you reach out the more you pull back and you have that as a as a memory right you have so now you let go of that and you recall the feeling of that of that movement of that dynamic uh opposition there then you just bring your hand back. This time, you're not going to put any effort into it. You're just going to feel what that felt like because you have a memory now of what that felt like whenever you know, my left arm here is reaching out and my right arm is pulling back. And so I have that, I have that memory. And you can you know, pull on very gently just if you, if you need to get that. So we're creating a memory, a felt sense, and a memory of that felt sense which is an energy. So then now you separate out and you put your hands down and allow that to wash away, disappear. And now you go back and this time, you're not gonna even bring your arms up. You just feel into that energy. You feel into the effort being that you use you have a memory of that and now bring up your your hand in this case it's my left hand and i want to feel it reaching out and i also want to feel it being pulled back although there is no there is no physical opposition there but i have the contradictory impulses going on there these are poles in opposition. I'm reaching out and pulling back at the same time. And I feel into my arm and I feel the activity that's going on there. I'm feeling a, an enhanced blood flow at the, at, the, at the gross level, but there's also something else going on there. You know, there's, there's a sense of fullness of uh, heat. There's also a sense of expansion, a sense of also like, um, you know, kind of gunning your engine at the stoplight. There's a, a readiness potential there. My brain is activating everything it needs to do except for the muscular contraction that's it to do that. So I've disconnected from my motor function. This is what we do in our dreams all the time when we want to reach out, but the motor function is disconnected and we have the brain is manufacturing the idea of, of movement, but we can't actually execute. But we get that feeling of that. And then you put it down and then you just feel it. Just feel it into your arm. So this is, a, this is what we're doing with, with these things. So whenever we get into the medium, large, small, it's a similar kind of idea. We get a, a felt sense of the motion 
and then we we uh, make it bigger and then we make it much smaller and then we make it disappear so that there's nothing the physical activity is gone but the energy is still there and so we're shifting our our idea of sort of uh, a happy medium to very substantial very big to smaller 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 insubstantial to nothing which then whatever is there when we're not doing anything is is what's is the insubstantiality that is actually driving that whole operation uh before we do anything uh, any questions on that explanation I, I didn't want to get too wonky on you there but uh, let me know if it that came through 